All right, so today I'm playing a nine-year-old map game, Victoria 2. I've put way too much time into this game, probably close to 800, or 1800, 1900 hours at this point. I haven't done a serious game in forever though. I just tried to do a take as uh, Prussia. But I got fucked over by dice rolls because literally, like, literally in every single important battle, I was rolling zeros, ones, twos. They, I was rolling nines. Not that the, not that my army composition was awful. It's just dice rolls are fucking shit in this game, just like they are in every paradox game. But you know, it is what it is. You know, what? I'll actually show you how bad it got. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Just a comparison, look at the population. 3 million. 3.3 million, 3.32 million. That's in 1845. Look at what it starts out as. If it loads. Because it's bad. I'm pretty sure I lost 200,000 of my population. If not more. Yeah. A little bit more than that, actually. Jesus Christ. So I'm thinking... Because I actually haven't played this game like a serious game in forever. I might go for something a little bit easier. I'm thinking probably Russia would be a good one. But Russia's really big and they can snowball really fast. But I still want to challenge. I think with the Prussia game I just rushed myself. But uh, my sphere game was not good. Considering that you know Germany just really fucked up in 1836. Mm, excuse me. So, I'm thinking maybe... I still do want to go Interventionist. So... I don't know. I thought about Japan, but I'm not a super huge fan of kind of the whole idea of, like, island hopping in this game. Like, it works fine in, like, uh, Hearts of Iron 4, but, like, in this game and uh, EU4, it's just, a, like, a mega pain in the ass. So, I'm probably just going to skip out on Japan for now anyways. Plus, like I said, I, I really don't think the westernization game is, like, that interesting. I mean, once you get to, uh, like, HPM and HFM and the Pop Demand mod, yeah, it gets interesting. But, in Vanilla Victoria 2, no, it's, it's, it's not. So, like I said, I still do want to play as an interventionist. But I don't want to start off too powerful. The United States does sound like a good idea, and it is tempting. But I kind of want to keep it in Europe, because everything happens in Europe in this game. For the most part. You know what, fuck it. No, I'll, I'll try Prussia again. I'll probably fail horribly again, but, you know, that's okay. Here to learn. Okay, so I'm going to have to get... I, I, I recognize some of the mistakes I made in my last try. So what I think I'm going to have to do is uh, get Russia as an ally really fast. Because we start off with good relations. Okay. And then... Uh, in between now and when I got fucked over by the, the dice rolls, I did end up watching a, um, a little video on how to form Germany pretty fast, but the guy didn't do it until, like, the 1860s, so I'm gonna see if I can speed it up just a little bit. Yeah, because I'm gonna need money. Tax the shit out of these guys. High tariffs. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to sphere just about everything. So Hanover, sphere it. Bavaria, sphere it. Everybody needs to be sphered. Württemberg, sphere. Baden, sphere. Okay, get rid of this cav army. Piece of shit. 
Okay, pull these guys to Earth Hurt. Make another army. Okay, and I know that this army comp looks a little weird, considering that I really don't have a lot of artillery, but I've noticed that that is probably the best army comp. Not the most absolute best, but you know, it's, it's pretty damn good. So we're going to be losing a little bit of money here in the beginning, which is fine. But once I get this shit up and running, it's going to be great. Oh, I forgot to set a waypoint. There we go. Am I setting Denmark? No, I'm not. Okay, I'm also gonna try and steer uh, Switzerland. Sardinia. And the two Sicilies. Because um, if I can get them to help me out in the war against Austria, that's going to be pretty big. Okay, I really need to get Russia on my side though, because that's going to be huge. Oh, fuck off. Whatever. Brazil's probably going to try and ally me at some point, so I guess I'll go ahead and start steering them too. Not that I think that they're really going to help out that much, but, you know, it's fine. Right. So I can barely just fit these guys in. Head over Sicilies here. I can go ahead and build another army, so I might as well. And I just need to encourage soldiers so I can not have my entire country die at, like as soon as the war starts against Austria. Although I probably do need to declare war on them before they go to war against the British. Okay, so I think I have a strategy for this. Because the British are what, well actually it was the fucking Saxons and the Bavarians that fucked me over last time. But the British played a pretty big role in that too. Just by existing. Look at this mess. Fucking Germany is a fucking disaster at the beginning of this game. I mean, if I can form the NGF, that's going to be so nice. But I don't think I can do that while I'm war. Right, let me actually look at the requirements. I need, like, all this shit. I think I need to be at peace, right? I don't fucking know. I'll figure it out, hopefully. Yeah, and Austria is just a huge pain in the ass in this game, so I think I should probably declare war on them before... Before the British start to get too involved with this. But I'm I'm actually actually fuck, I don't know why I did that. Uh Okay, so we're gonna have to take out the Saxons super fast. Because they have got a six defense general, which is insane. So I'm either, I'm either gonna have to wait until this guy dies. 
or I'm just gonna have to bum rush like all the Miltex and then declare war as soon as I can. Either way. Alright. Brazil is still at war. Actually, I think this is a different war now, but whatever. Yeah, we got the, the, the CD now. Took some... We took some infamy for it, for it, but you know, at least it was only two as compared to last time I was ten. Because last time I was trying to liberate all of. Uh... Alright, cool. Hanover is no longer in the sphere of influence for them. But last time it was because I was trying to free Hungary. Uh, but that was because I didn't really want to form Super Germany, and now I kind of do. It seems like it could be interesting. But I need to get all of these guys out of the Austrian sphere of influence first, which is why it took so long. So I suppose in the meantime, because I did want to do like an interventionist playthrough. So... Uh, I'm thinking maybe what I can do is I can go over... Maybe I can go ahead and start stealing Venezuela. I don't really want to fight extra people that I don't have to. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't click on that and hope that I don't get caught. But I'm gonna need so many more boats. Okay, so meet up in Danzig. Get the Clippers first. I guess just build two of those. And now I play the waiting game. And that's what a lot of Germany is. It's just waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Which is kind of frustrating, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, once you start snowballing this Germany, you really snowball. I'm not gonna go through this seven minutes for me. Jesus Christ. Does anyone actually care that I'm going to take Haiti? Does anyone actually care? Like, really? They've been independent for, like, what, 20 years at this point, if that? Whatever. Much longer until I can go in. I mean, shit. I'm probably only going to need, like, uh... 12 guys to go and fight this. So might as well summon these. But they've only got one division. And it's just going to be nice having a spot to set up in the Americas. Then I'll go in and start taking some of Venezuela. So I kind of want to take Haiti, Venezuela, probably Colombia, and then I'll puppet the USCA, puppet Ecuador. And the reason why I want. I mean, I guess technically all I need to take off of Colombia is like Panama, but mm, I'd rather just have all of it myself. But I want Venezuela directly because they get oil. And I know that I guess theoretically I could puppet them. And uh, I'd get the resources firsthand anyway, but I mean, just having that extra population is going to be nice. Even though I guess technically that they're, they're gonna get immigrants since they're in the United States, but or since they're in the Americas, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, so these guys have like nothing left, so I'm gonna pull them back, give them some troops, just need a bigger military, or a more powerful one, bigger, better equipped. And I should probably go ahead and build some uh, railroads too, just so they can get, uh, just so they can get places fast. It's Haiti, Santo Domingo. I only I only brought twelve guys with me, but it, it's fine. So 
what else is going down in Europe? I don't have any great power allies, so this is bad. But there's no one that's a great power that I can really ally at the moment, I guess. I mean, I guess I could go after the Ottomans, but the Ottomans are trash. Hmm, excuse me. <coughs> Brazilians are still at war. With who? Chile, Paraguay. I guess I'll just give them subsidies so they'll like me. Alright, how we doing in Haiti? Hurry the fuck up, because I don't want to lose these guys. I don't want to lose these ships, because then I'll have to make new ones. I hope that this will be done by the end of uh, April or March. Ah, shit. Probably not. It doesn't look like it. Fuck. I'm gonna lose a handful of these ships, which is annoying, but whatever. Oh, ooh. Oh my god. Just. Oh, I lost the whole navy. Cool. And I lost these guys too, whatever. After I take uh, Haiti, I can just. Uh, I'll just disband these guys. Switzerland. Cordial. I'm probably gonna give them more artillery, actually. Alright, pull you down there. More artillery. for the extra research points because that's always nice. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just expand in this. And it, it'll probably be a few years before I go to war with uh, Austria and like Bavaria and all that, so I guess I'll just expand everywhere if I can. Oh, it's so expensive, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and expanding railroads in these provinces is such a pain in the fucking ass. Because there's just so many of them. Of, like, these independent little German states. Mm, that's Krakow, that's not me, I don't need to worry about that. I'm probably going to take Denmark at some point, so I might as well just go ahead and expand up here, too. Yeah, that's all of it. I guess I'll go ahead and expand down here in Venezuela, too, because I'm going to take it in Colombia. Yep, alright, cool. Anything else? I guess I'll expand in the Netherlands too, because I'm, I'm gonna take them too. I mean, I'm gonna take their colonies first, but you know. Okay. Who was it that I can. Sicily. Cool. Uh, oh, also Abu Dhabi, I forgot about that, because I'm gonna snipe them for oil. Suez. I mean, I'll probably take Krakow at some point, why not? Might as well go ahead and expand down there. Mexico, I don't know if I want to do anything to Mexico quite yet, but... I'll find out. When I form Germany. Oh, Christ, it's taking forever. Probably should have sent more guys, actually. I got Sweden and Denmark on my side, that's gonna help out a little bit. The Austrians still haven't allied anybody, which is good. Okay, so 
Wizard Press. That general is still around. It's been five years. Christ. I hope he's not around too long. Because otherwise it's just going to be a pain in the ass to, to take over. So go ahead and fight him here. Yeah, we stomped him. Almost. We took some more numbers. Some losses. Hanover. Because I think last time I went to war with uh, Austria, I did it before I got Hanover, which is a big fuck up. My infamy is going down so goddamn slowly, holy shit. Alright, these railroads are just gonna take a fucking long ass time to make. Sicilies, yes. Mm. I'm probably gonna snipe that at some point too. I don't think there's anything that develops there, but I might as well. Egypt, I mean. I'm probably not going to do a lot of fighting in Egypt, not until later on anyway, so it's kind of useless for me to expand there. And I, I could start expanding down here, but I don't really want to give them any, uh... They're allied to Austria, so I don't really want to give them any, anything extra. I'm just kind of investing some of these uh, smaller countries. Railroads and shit. Might as well. Spain's not going to be a great power for much longer, so. Guess I'll go ahead and start sniping Portugal. Oh, keep that on pause. The Ottomans are probably going to take two up, up here at least, or at least some of this shit. If they do otherwise, I'll get involved, but. At least as of right now, I really just want to expand railroads down here. Just so that way when I do conquer them, I'll, I'll just have all of it. Prestige. Nice. Okay, cool. We got Haiti. I'm just going to delete this army. Like, it's, it's not worth bringing them over here. Okay, so now I have a setup in America, which is good. I'm gonna build another army. Alright. Oh, fuck. That disease thing is so fucking irritating. I hate having to deal with that. So, ideological thought. Give us another national foci so we can start focusing on the troops again. Keep expanding the military. So right now, the military is the most important thing. It's just that, you know, numbers, man. And plus, they have the generals. I don't... I mean, I'm going to have the technological advantage. But, you know, <laughs> when, when you don't have the... Uh, That my spirit. Oh shit. Oops. But it's like when you know when you don't have the numbers or the generals, you know, you can have all the technology you want, but you ain't gonna do shit if you don't know how to use it, or if you don't have the manpower to use it. But we do have a very large military. I think it's on par with Russia. Oh, pfft, never mind. Might be on par with France. Pfft, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so I think once I get Holstein in my sphere, then I can, uh, I can form the, the North German Confederation. Oh shit, really? 
I'm going through a plague and a fucking starvation event. Are you fucking serious, game? Fuck off. Let's see. I mean, I, I guess I'll expand railroads in Brazil too. Might as well. I want him to like me. And I think it'll get me extra influence if I remember right. Because I, I don't really have an interest in uh, conquering anything from Brazil. They don't have anything that I need. Yeah, but it's mostly just fruit, which I mean, I'm going to get when I start colonizing Africa. I'd rather just steer this stuff. Like, I'll conquer Colombia, Venezuela. I'll probably puppet Ecuador through Bolivia. I'll just steer everything else. So, bottom. Alright, let me go ahead and increase this before Austria fucks me over. Okay, so all the shit that is already in my sphere. I can go ahead and turn that down to just one. Because being able to jump on this army is going to be really nice once uh, the war gets started. And nationalist. I mean, I'll I'll just I'll just fight them. I mean, they're going to be I'm going to absorb them anyway sooner or later, so it's fine. It's annoying, but. Encourage more soldiers. And I guess we'll go ahead and get more army tech. Because just being ahead of the game is going to be so nice. Another fucking. God damn this game! Frustrating them. I don't need them, but having them in the war against Austria is going to be really nice. Why is this going up so slow? God Probably gonna have to get medicine after this. Mm. Might want to grab one more military tech. Okay, well I think the age of liberalism is gonna be almost over, which is good because I fucking hate these pop-ups are ridiculous. I'm also gonna have to switch over to jingoism. Oh, we already have it. Never mind. Oh, is the UK not allied to a great power? Maybe I can snipe them before uh, Austria does. It'd be really nice to have them in a war. Fuck off. How are the railroads going? Fine. We're almost finished here in Germany. Might as well build them in Greece too, why not? France is getting involved in Baden now? Why do you- oh fuck off France, you have no business here. Fucking occupy your whole country like I did. Well, I guess the only time I've ever fully occupied it was World War II, huh? Give it another hundred years, France. I swear. I'll be on your ass. These fucking liberalism events, I can't wait till they're over. Okay, so 
So I need to get medicine, because... Fuck these flu events. They're actually losing troops, which is good. Okay, let's go ahead and build some more... I don't really want to become a democracy yet because I fucking hate election events. So I'm just gonna build up to it first. Alright, spin that up. Put that up. More education's always nice. Just Haiti, that's fine. I I don't really need Haiti for that much other than like you know, a base to set up. Alright, how long is this gonna take? Oh my god, I'm only neutral with them. Jesus Christ. It goes up so slow, it's like point one per day. So once this army is finished, I might want just want to consider going to war. Oh shit, I did liberate country, didn't I? Shit. Whatever. Wait, cancel. Humiliate. Okay. Uh, and I will pop you... ...down here. Way of because they're gonna build attrition like that. Okay, so I need to fucking stop. Oh, wait, did that general die? Oh, that's huge. That is huge. If that general actually did die, then this war is gonna be so much easier. Thank god, that's a huge, just load taken off now that I have two Sicilies in my sphere. Because that means they're going to have to join the war now. Yeah, this fear game is not fun. I, I don't really enjoy it that much. But we've got so much more than Austria does. I think I'm gonna wait for the age of... No, no, I can't. I already have the CD. Fuck, man. You know what, I'm just gonna stop fucking around with the Netherlands because I kinda wanna start taking Indonesia when I'm done with Austria. Humiliate. Okay, so who. Who will not join? Everybody will. Everybody will join except for Montenegro. Awesome, let's do this. Okay, jump on that army. Uh, jump on this army. Jump on that. Thank you. Go there. Oh, I should have had them closer. Shit. Okay. And then you can go there. Okay, so. Ooh, I have an army up here. 
before we get out of there. So, I've declared war. It's 1846. I declared war on Austria six years later than I did in the first game. I've got more allies. I'm more well prepared. So hopefully this will go alright. But I think that's going to have to wait until next episode. Because I've been recording it for like, what, 30, 40 minutes now? So, yeah. Well, I hope this build-up's been worth, worth it. And I really hope that I don't get fucked over by the dice rolls again. But now, because I think the 6 defense general is dead now. Which is awesome. So now that he's dead, taking out Saxony is going to be super easy. I'm still going to take him out fast, just because, you know. Just to be safe, but, you know. Alright, so I'm going to end it here. See you in the next part where I will hopefully be able to take out Austria.